Not only did we used to play multiplayer in the same room, but sometimes we even connected our systems. And like physically, not wirelessly. There were wires all over the place when we did it. It's freaking human consulpede. We were just really sick people. It's, it's Destruction Derby for the original PlayStation. I grew up in a very, very exceedingly rural area. The kind of place it's like, you know, the closer you get, your watch starts to tick backwards. The kind of place where you get there and you wonder how it turned into the 1950s all of a sudden. And the bad parts of the 1950s, not the, not the good parts, not the malt shops and the poodle skirts. So playing this brings back memories, not only of a specific era of video games, but of growing up in a specific place where demolition derbies actually happen on a regular basis, most of the year. And also no one goes who didn't get there in a vehicle that looks like it belongs in that very derby. So this one just, look, I'm sorry, but this one hits a little close to home. I, I didn't even need to play it to tell you about Destruction Derby. I lived Destruction Derby. Anyway, you flip over the case and the game says it supports the link cable. What that really means is human console See, it works because the consoles eventually bind themselves together and then all the poop passes through to the next one like a poop chain. Also, it says the crowd is rough and ready. For what, I have no idea, but if it's if they're rough, I don't want, even want to know about it. Nonetheless, you finally load up the game, and you get some menu screens that look like Microsoft Word 97. Fortunately, no one buys video games for the menu screens, least of all for the people from back home, they can barely read. That says cars, not people. See, in cities, they have police. Back home, we have forests. But you know, I hope I don't sound too harsh on this thing. Although I probably actually definitely do. Because I kind of like it. In fact, it's actually kind of awesome. Kind of. I mean, it's not really good. Like, not in the actual definition of the word good. But at the same time, like, like neither is a, is a real demolition derby. I mean, it's just, look, it's just beat up cars that are going to the dump anyway, crashing into each other before they get there. That's not good. That's, that's prisoners arm wrestling in line for the gallows. I mean, does it really matter who wins? Well, in this case, yes. Yes, it does. Because I kind of like it. It's simple. It's ugly. It's... It's ugly, it's just, it's not a pretty sight, but it's fun, you know, and it's hard not to have fun with a cup of lemonade in one hand and a hot dog in the other and a game like Destruction Derby. So what can you actually do? Well, you can have like a traditional demolition derby where you drive in a huge circle and just try to die last. That's the objective. It's also the objective in real life, but that's actually the least interesting mode in the game. For me, the real bulk of the experience are the different kind of derby races, basically, they're just, you know, it's like a normal race, but one where you can also smash the hell out of people. And actually, one of the coolest things about it is the presentation. Like, the cars actually kind of show gradual damage, which is pretty impressive stuff for the PS1. They get bent up, they start to smoke. It actually feels good, too. Like, like when you smash a car from the side, you get that nice, violent sense of impact. Cars spin all over the place, they fly everywhere. So for what it is, Destruction Derby is a good one. It's just a matter of... Do you want what it is? And I can fully understand if you don't. Believe me, you don't want any part of it in real life. it's a secret that a lot of games from this particular era haven't they've aged kind of poorly you know but, but I'm actually really impressed with how well this one holds up like it still plays well but the controls are a bit delicate it takes some getting used to that's the case with a lot of driving games from this era and once you do get used to them it just it plays just fine you know it's actually still fun to play which is kind of awesome plus you can watch your replays so it's like it's like the fun of a derby but without the fairground which is an improvement smells terrible there. I grew up in a place. It's Destruction Derby for the original PlayStation. 
Whether you play alone or you sew your consoles into one console, you sick weirdo, this is fun for the whole family. 